I'm challenging any YouTuber out there now, anyone that is watching this, take your time to actually talk about suicide prevention. Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back. Now, if you're really wondering why am I here, why am I creating a video again, it's been a while. Um, it's going to be talking about the Logan Paul situation. If you don't know what it is, um, then he uploaded a vlog that you shouldn't have uploaded with footage you really shouldn't have contained. Um, if you want to know more, there's tons of videos about it on YouTube. Why am I talking about it? Um, I'm not doing this for any reason other than I think we've completely handled it wrong. It shouldn't have been uploaded. I don't know why it was uploaded. It can. It's just the biggest mess, for want of far better and stronger words. So many different things could have been handled better, including our entire response as a community. Every video I have seen has been slating Logan Paul for uploading this video, and I completely agree with condoning him for these actions. However, what I don't agree with is everyone saying I'm not gonna turn ads on for this video. I'm not, like, no one has really covered the actual underlying issue here. They've just been like, well, it's wrong. Like, he shouldn't be showing that sort of stuff. Like, we should be encouraging suicide prevention and, like, not making fun of it. And, like, if we'd handled that situation so differently, we could have done so much good for this world. But instead, we've kind of just shot ourselves in the foot. Now, if you, like, the, my logic and reasoning behind this is, if every YouTuber in the world that has created a video on this, we've probably amassed hundreds of millions of views. So, if we'd put ad revenue on that, imagine how much ad revenue we could have generated that we could have then given to suicide prevention charities. Further off on from that, I've seen so many YouTube videos, including some of this footage that Logan Paul himself uploaded that these YouTubers are condoning him for, yet they are then including it in their own videos, pushing this horrible, horrible footage out to a far wider audience than it had already reached. Now, yes, we need to raise awareness that what Logan Paul did was wrong, and I do not disagree with that. But what I do disagree with is these YouTubers then taking this footage and re-uploading it themselves onto their own channels. Because surely that is going against everything that they are complaining against. Now, as a YouTube community, I think we're very quick to condone people for their actions and wrongdoings. But we're also very, like, not well adept to dealing with these situations. We instantly go into everyone pile the hate on. When actually if we just thought about it for 30 seconds, we could have been... Ah, oh, okay, this re ad revenue we can give straight to these awesome charities that are combating it. We can use the time that we're going to be putting into the videos slating Jake Paul rather than to slate, sorry, Logan Paul, rather than slate Logan Paul. Why don't we condone him for the first 30 seconds, a minute, fine, and then take the rest 9, 20, however many minutes you're going to put into that video slating him into actually doing something good and talking about suicide prevention. Or taking time out of your day that you're going to put into filming that video to spend time with someone who might actually be depressed, lonely or like suicidal. Everyone in this world will be touched by someone that is feeling low, is feeling depressed, is feeling lonely or feeling suicidal. Whether that is your family, close friends or even further friends outside of like that close circle. Someone that you know or will come across will at some point in their life be feeling one of those things. Time is the most valuable thing we as humans can give, and I understand that not everyone watching this video is a YouTuber. Not everyone in this position that is watching this video is in the position to have money that they can freely donate to charity. And I completely understand that, but one thing we all have is time. And one thing we can give to someone is time, and time is the most valuable thing we can ever give, because you can't buy more. Money can't buy it, so why don't we spend our time giving it to others? So if there is someone out there that you think, you know what? I haven't seen them in a while, why don't I just ask them if they want to go for a coffee? It takes half an hour, it's going to cost you, what, four quid max to get a Starbucks coffee? That time and that small amount of money, just spending it with that one person could make so much difference on their life. It could save their life, you never know. And that's what I'm trying to urge in this video. For the YouTubers that are not making money from their videos, because they've turned it off for the Logan Paul ones, turn it back on but donate all of that money to charity. And I'm challenging any YouTuber out there now, anyone that is watching this, take your time to actually talk about suicide prevention. I'm such a strong advocate of calm and I cannot push them enough, but please just support charities as much as you can. Spend as much time in for, like pushing for suicide prevention for any sort of help that people need through your videos. It's such, such an important topic. 
and just one YouTuber with 100,000 subscribers making one video about it could save the lives of, like, even if it's one person upwards, that is more than anything you could ever give someone. So please just take that time out of your day, even if you're not a YouTuber, just to have a look at Calm or any other suicide prevention charity. If you can donate money, that is fantastic. If not, just find someone. Find someone around you that you can spend time with. But until that point, guys, um, that's pretty much it for this video. I know it's probably had no direction at all, but it's kind of just come straight from my head. And I hope it's been pretty heartfelt. Um, if any of you are struggling with any of this, then more than welcome to come and speak to me. I'm not probably going to be the best person to speak to about it. There is tons of dedicated charities out there. There will be linked to some charities down below that you can donate to if you would like to. If not, then please just go out and find someone that you can give your time to. Even if it is just half an hour of your day, please make that time for someone that means something to you. Anyway, guys, um, until next time, and I don't know when that will be, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know um, your thoughts, and if you've been affected by the situation, comments down below. But yeah, anyway guys, I'll see you guys soon.